Hi everyone, how is it going? I have to confess something. DevOps changed my life in multiple areas such as career growth, salary, job security, international opportunities and made me you know to work on awesome technology such as 5g do you want to become a devops engineer or maybe you are a developer looking you know to shift your career you know towards a more of a devops mode you know or you're an ops person and you would like you know to get a feeling of you know how this devops you know thing is all about and there's a high demand of devops engineers for companies you know to remain competitive in this agile world and the domain is one of the best option for IT folks, you know, in terms of salary and career growth and many things. But you're facing some uh, difficulties on how to become one. Yes, a DevOps engineer is, you know, a senior role and requires a lot. So in this video, I will share with you the two major skills in becoming a DevOps engineer with the goal to give you a kickstart, including some tips, you know, to prepare your CV and interviews to secure your first job as a DevOps engineer. Welcome back to the Taxi Mastery. Just a reminder, if you did not watch how to become cloud engineer and also SRE in the video playlist, please do so. So being, you know, a DevOps engineer in this era is a tough task since you represent a mix of system administrator and cloud engineer and as well site reliability engineer and a QA specialist. But I want you, you know, <laughs> to understand the fact that DevOps is not a specific, you know, to developers or uh, system engineers is for anyone you know passionate about involving practices technologies and willing you know to work in a collaborative environment where everything is automated to make you know everyone's life so easy so as devops engineer uh, facilitates you know collaboration between development and operation teams to achieve increased productivity so in other words you turn all the workflows you know into an awesome one so before I dive deep let me share devops engineers daily routine so it includes like what you call infrastructure management you know it should just you know, work not only on your machine but working on you know multiple platforms across you know different programming languages in a macro you no know, microservices environment automating you know workloads a strong you know intention to automate you know almost everything it also involves cncd you know deployment processes it also involves support and live monitoring critical alerts you know at 2 a.m that would be great so and awesome it also involves like version control system management you know and also maintaining our security so how how to start the journey to become DevOps engineer? Let's address these hard skills, you know, required. One, system administration. So, you know, configuring servers, checking the health of the system and setting up effective alerts, you know, come exactly from our system administration and represent the core responsibilities, you know, of the DevOps engineers, you know, and being able, you know, to explain the basic system administration task and how to automate them as DevOps engineer, you must master all the system admin skills and you should also be able you know to automate all the key processes in the deployment of servers and infrastructure wow <laughs> mastering you know system admin task pick at least one os mostly Linux OS is 90% of the public cloud workloads runs on Linux infrastructure. Now visualization and cloud. So once you are now comfortable with OS, you know, the key to running different systems alongside with each other lies in knowing how to isolate them and you know meet performance requirements. So with the cloud now it becomes more about you know picking a particular combination of services rather than like solve the task out of the box you know rather than spend spending time and time on setting up environment from scratch. Proficiency, you know, with the cloud platforms covers a wide, you know, range of area from like the infrastructure architecture, you know, to meet and to uh, what you call the cost optimization. So the, there are a number of major cloud platforms used by most companies. This include Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. There are many. So just pick one and start your journey into cloud. Now programming language. So a successful DevOps engineer must be to write and to understand code otherwise you know how you plan the architecture of the application or choose a suitable solution you know for cloud migration also working in a cloud computing environment you know that you never need you know to touch the physical you know hardware instead there are programming interfaces for 
every action you know also as soon as you have your servers provision eg like using terraform which is uh, like infrastructure as a code you will need to install software download apps and you know tweak some os level parameters so all these tasks you know need scripting and programming so to automate i would you know suggest learning python it is really easy to learn and a lot of documentation and uh, tutorials out there also bash scripting so as soon as you got over the three basics two steps you know into devops which is os cloud scripting it's time you know to shift the gear high and proceed you know with cd pipeline not that developers you know need to be able to deliver code into environments whether that uh, will be for testing new functionality or delivering an update across you know the system so cncd which stands for the combined continuous integration and a continuous delivery or deployment automates the process so you you want you know to know how a cncd pipeline works you know the series of steps of executing ci and cd you know uh, a typical pipeline process involves uh, a continuous integration server such as Jenkins you know pulling the code from the github or any other version control system you know building artifacts testing them and then you know deploying them at last so once you're comfortable with cncd now move on to what we call containerization so the container ecosystem you know helps to separate the application and facilitate the testing process it offers you know a comfortable workflow and ensures you know smooth integration docker is a well-known you know container manager i highly recommend recommend you try it if you still have not so then once done move on to kubernetes for container orchestration i recommend uh, the ck certification for great you know guidelines ck the exam is really good and 100 percent hands-on there's no multiple question questions so it shows that you need you know to understand what's going on uh, as devops engineer now then source control management so they are used you know to track changes and to maintain different versions of uh, the application the most popular version control systems are Gitty and svn you don't need you know to be an expert in them you know but understanding the basic principles behind uh, scm is mandatory as a devops engineer you'll be you know maintaining everything as a code managing their version so let it then networking in devops you know <laughs> everything is connected and knowing the nitty greetings of, of details of networks and protocols is the only way you know to ensure efficient and secure communication uh, between uh, different systems and the components involved so sure <laughs> we live in the age of the you know of the web but it's only the tip of the iceberg you know plate of technology rely uh, on a deeper level of networking that you know I you know highly skillful engineer to configure and to troubleshoot so you really need uh, to know networking so the other one that I have for you is security you know, hackers you know get into the system uh, through vulnerabilities you know brought by uh, you know faster development and de de deployment cycle so therefore devops engineer you know need uh, to consider the security uh, implications you know uh, of their flows to help to protect applications from you know potential attacks you know and ensure all the systems have you know defense mechanism so once done with all those we then move to observability and monitoring not that you know in most organizations you know application stack and the number of uh, devops teams will grow you know and then the number of moving pieces and customers are growing you also multiply you know so keeping track of all of those pieces can be an overwhelming so that makes our uh, continuous monitoring and observability a requirement uh, for being able to maintain you know an end-to-end -end and real-time you know situational awareness of your ecosystem you know there are many uh observability tools out there i suggest like you can pick elastic stack or prometheus and start your journey uh into monitoring and observability now let's move on to the second pillar soft skills <laughs> once you're done or while still working on your hard skills is there is a lot you know to cover so make sure you build on your soft skills as well and these will be tested <laughs> a lot in your interviews mostly are uh, on the culture around so yes soft skills are important as a devops you know, is not just by tooling or you know technology but also cultures so to be a successful devops engineer you need to be able to make friends influence people good communication and soft skills are the primary requirements you know for the devops engineer success and growth so communicating the right points you know at the right time is important for a project success so the top five soft skills are to work on that i share with you is communication empathy 
collaboration, you know, attention to details and what we call curiosity. So good luck with your journey to become DevOps engineer. So once you're comfortable with theoretical concept and technical basics of DevOps engineering, it's time to get your hands dirty and build, you know, some real projects. The best way, you know, for you to master DevOps tools and show others, you know, your expertise is by practicing. This will give, you know, confidence, you know, in your skills and demonstrate your capabilities, you know, to potential employers that you are the right candidate. So CV tips, only put things in your CV, you know, that you know, it will be very embarrassing for you, you know, to go to an interview and get questioned on something you don't know. Remember, there is no one, you know, that knows everything, you know, being honest will get, you know, much further, you know. So the interview tip that I leave with you with is our culture is very important in the DevOps world. So remember, to be yourself, you know, as much as you can, you know, as generally the team will make, you know, the decision if you are hired or not, as they need, you know, to know that you will fit into the culture. The last tip, being the best DevOps engineer, read, read, read. So if you want, you know, to be a knowledgeable DevOps engineer, read more. So read at least one DevOps tech blog, you know, related to engineering, read topics that are not, you know, part of your day-to-day -day job, you know, to broaden, you know, your thinking you know <laughs> so i will share some link you know um you know, to most useful resources to learn devops don't forget to like to ring the notification bell as always keep on skiing in the tech world